presidential campaigning is well underway. And as would be expected, like every damn presidential campaign, we have the candidates uttering the words of God. Uh, just about every statement, every fundamentalist statement is, is made with God on their lips. One thing we won't see is an atheist candidate. A recent poll showed that 49% of Americans would not vote for an atheist president. So that pretty much tells me that we're as likely to get an atheist in office as there is to be a Protestant pope. Pretty fucking slim. So we have 93% of Americans, it's no wonder, 93% of Americans who are religious to some extent. That leaves 7% that are non-believers or have cold secular faith. With these kind of numbers, how the hell can we expect a, a division of church and state? How can we expect for any candidate not to be religiously driven, to not have some sort of uh, religious-minded agenda, or at least parade around faking the funk with Jesus on his fucking shoulder like a, like a parrot. We can't. Here's some more fun facts. 30% of Americans believe that the Bible should be taken literally, word for word. 43% of Americans believe that the Bible is divinely inspired by God. That is, it is the divinely inspired word of God, I should say. So that's 73% of Americans that believe that we should be, to some extent, guided by the Bible. That the Bible should um, navigate us through our lives. <clears throat> Alright, news flash. The Bible is written by men to control other men. It's been edited. All the editorial decisions throughout history have been made by men. It's not divinely inspired by God. If it was, God would have written it. If it was, God would have given it to us directly. So throughout the remainder of the campaigning, you need to kind of ask yourself, next time you hear a politician utter the words, praise God, or in the name of God, or God willing, or God whatever the fuck, you need to ask yourself, what is his real aim? Is he really supporting um, his own views, or is he really just trying to appeal to 93% of Americans? I don't know. Seems pretty obvious to me. Seems pretty obvious that we should actually, maybe, just consider voting for Jesus. You know, really, I mean, let's, let's not even put a politician in office. Let's just go ahead and, and get rid of democracy altogether. We'll just put Jesus in the Oval Office. You know, forget about putting a human being in there because it appears as though, no matter what, the religious majority is going to get their way anyhow. Fuck the division of church and state. Who needs it, right? Let's go back to theocratic rule. Let's go back to the Dark Ages. I'll be moving then.